Pretty cool design, so yes. moving on now, another question regarding energy is heading to your ballot. John Potter reports on the big push to have half of Nevada's energy come from renewables and what NV Energy has to say about that. Attorney Robert Johnston says when it comes to Nevada, one of the sunniest and geothermal flush states in the country, we just don't get enough of our energy from renewables. No, not at all. Not at all. We need to. We, We've made good progress, but we can do a lot better. The direction has been to reduce coal-fired electricity. We still have a lot of natural gas-fired generation. They're behind the efforts of this group, Nevadans for a Clean Energy Future, which has been collecting petition signatures for months in all 17 counties. They say they're dropping off 230,000 signatures, topping the 112,000 plus required by tomorrow's deadline to put this on November's ballot, the Renewable Energy Promotion Initiative. Right now, 25% of the state's power is required to be from renewables by 2025. What we're advocating for is 50% by 2025. 2030. We feel that that is uh, a very reasonable, it's aggressive but reasonable uh, kind of percentage to get there. NV Energy didn't come out against it. They responded with a statement about their progress, saying Nevada is a leader in renewable energy, ranking second in the nation for geothermal and fourth for solar power. NV Energy has exceeded our state's renewable portfolio standard for the eighth straight year and is on track to double our renewable energy capacity by 2023. Now, they also say they achieved a 24% renewable portfolio standard last year, ahead of Nevada's current 20% requirement. But Robert Johnston says Nevada still spends $700 million a year to import fossil fuels from out of state to power the grid. He says we can not only get what we need right here, but renewables are getting cheaper, evening the playing field. For many, many years, coal and natural gas penciled out as a cheaper alternative. But those dynamics are changing. Covering the story, John Potter, Channel 2 News. And like other proposed amendments, after a vote of the people, the new measure must be approved at two consecutive elections to actually become the law.